If you've watched any of my videos before in interviewing, one of the things that I've said frequently is that it's much easier to be a candidate and interview when you already have a job. But I know that's not always possible. And I've had people ask me several times, Ben, what do I do as a candidate and I've been let go or I'm no longer employed? How, how do I approach the market then? What do I need to do differently? Um, and today we're gonna talk about that. So I'm gonna give you seven tips um, that I would follow if I was someone who is unemployed or underemployed while they're in the job market. So you were unemployed and you were looking for a new job or maybe you were recently let go or you've taken a leave of absence and now you're ready to get back into the job market. How does that change your approach? The reality is it does change your approach. Um, and I'm gonna go over seven things that I would do um, or I would be ready for if this was me. I've been in this position, I know how it is, I've also spent a lot of time in recruiting. Let me give you my tips to help you successfully navigate the employment journey while you are unemployed. So the first thing is um, be prepared to talk about it. There's no getting around it. If you are unemployed, at some point it's going to come up what happened at your last place of employment. Having a good answer, being prepared and ready to talk to it is step one. Um, you don't want to be caught off guard. You don't want to be you know, surprised and not ready to speak to exactly what took place. Um, be ready to talk about it, you know, have, have that rehearsed. Um, you're gonna be asked that question every single time. So you just need to have your answer down there. The second thing is um, you need to be honest. When you're answering that question, um, you should be transparent with what happened. When you say it was a mutual decision, we don't believe you, okay? So in, in recruitment, if someone says to me, ah, you know, well, it was a mutual decision, the reality is people don't think it was mutual. They think you were let go and now they think you're also lying, which isn't good for you as a candidate. Um, there are certainly cases out there where it could have been mutual, but for the most part, um, somebody was thinking this isn't working first. So I would come up with, uh, again, an honest story. It is better to tell the truth than have people assume the worst and also think you're lying. The next thing, have something that you've learned from that experience, right? So let's just say you were let go. Let's say you were in sales and you, you didn't hit your, your numbers, right? Um, just be honest about that. That happens to people. And then talk about what you've learned and what you would do differently and what you will do differently moving forward. Um, everybody has setbacks in their careers. Uh, it's almost unavoidable. Um, but you also need to have a lesson. Um, and that lesson isn't making excuses, it's talking about what you would do differently, how you were better now, today, than you were six months ago. So I would also have that be part of that answer. This first three points are basically answering the why. You know, be prepared, be truthful, and have a lesson that you learned. Um, the next thing I wanna talk about is talk about what you're doing now. You know, have something that you're doing that's productive with your time. So yes, you're absolutely interviewing. And in some cases, that can be a full-time job. You know, when it comes to modifying your resume, sending it out, interviewing, doing assessments, networking, et cetera. Um, but just be prepared to talk about how this time in between has been positive for you. How have you been becoming a better version of yourself? What have you done? Um, that is something that I would absolutely be prepared to do. Uh, it's almost like the icing in the cake for the, the, the first question, the first three points, is once you've talked about that, what you've learned, how you're better now, and here's what I've been doing with my time. Um, the next thing, and this one's challenging. One of the benefits of interviewing while you already have a job is they know you can walk away. If you're happy and you're in a job, you can say, you know what? This isn't for me, I'm, I'm gonna go, good luck. Um, thank you for your time. But you can't do that as easy if you are unemployed. The assumption being, you need this job. Now that makes it so you seem a little bit more desperate. You have less leverage when it comes to negotiating on an offer or position or scope or title. Um, so that can be in the way. So one of the things that you wanna do is not come off desperate. The way I would recommend doing that is finding a way to kind of stick it into answers your question. Being like, you know, I'm really interested in your company. Um, although I'm unemployed, I'm being really selective. The next place I land at, I wanna be there for a long time. I don't wanna be jumping around, so I'm trying to be really selective 
on which companies I pursue an interview for. Um, this positions you as somebody who's not just applying to a million places, but instead is being really targeted and strategic with their job search, which is gonna make you come off in a good light. So that's how I would do that. That's how I avoid looking a little bit desperate. Um, I don't like that term, but I do think it's an important strategic point to position yourself that way. Um, the next thing, network with past colleagues. Um, I think when you are let go from a role or perhaps you're downsized, even in the world of COVID where a lot of people have been displaced, there can be some shame associated with being let go, um, but you shouldn't feel that way. And at the end of the day, what's more important, finding that next opportunity or shielding yourself from that shame? For me, I would reach out to, to people that you were close with, some of your past organizations and let them know and be like, hey Ben, just wanted to let you know I was recently downsized because of COVID or whatever the reason. Um, I really enjoyed our time working together. Um, and I just wanted to make you aware because I trust your judgment. And if you are aware of anything that might benefit me or might be a good fit for me, I would love to know about it. Just wanted to let you know, thanks again. And I'd love to grab coffee sometime or do a virtual Zoom. Um, I would recommend doing that with some of the people you were close with, the past employers. Those people might know about jobs. They might know about roles. They might know someone who is looking for somebody like you. But if you don't reach out, you're not going to know. Um, so I would completely do that. Um, again, it's one of those things where you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. And I think that could be leaving potential future opportunities on the table if you don't take the time to network with people. Um, lastly, if you can get a recommendation letter from the place you were let go of, that's big. Um, I've never been one of those people who's huge on cover letters or recommendations unless the situation dictates that it would be valuable. And one of those cases is absolutely if you were downsized or let go. There is a belief that the only the bottom people are downsized. You know, if you have to downsize an organization, um, you know, you'll cut the bottom 50%. And those were bottom performers anyways, but that's just not true. I know plenty of times where people have had to lay off great people, but there's still that stigma of them being someone who was let go. And that's not fair to you. So if you can find a way, if you were in good standing with a company that had to downsize you, if you can get a letter of recommendation from your boss or your boss's boss um, that basically speaks to your, your character and the quality of employee you are in a positive way, it is absolutely worth getting. And I would 100% advise you to do that. Um, and I'd present that in the interview process and let them know, hey, I know right now I'm unemployed, but I have a letter from the CEO of my company that I was at most recently, and I'd love to share it with you. Um, you know, that's a powerful move. And I think it's important because it helps erase the stigma a little bit, which is a little unfair to begin with. So there you have it. Those are my seven tips. If you are in the market as someone who is unemployed or underemployed, um, if you have any questions on that, please leave them in the comments. You know, if you can like and, and leave it in the comment, I'd be happy to answer. Um, I also make videos. So if you have a specific question and it's a great question, uh, you know, I'll turn it into a video. And if you're seeing this on YouTube, um, again, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos. Um, and I appreciate you stopping by. Have a, have a great day.